Hello friends. So today we are going to discuss two questions. First is a man of mass m is moving with a constant acceleration a with respect to plank. The plank lies on a smooth horizontal floor. If the mass of the plank is also m, calculate the acceleration of the plank and man with respect to ground and frictional force extended by the plank on the man. So the first important part we have to find out what will be the direction of the friction okay <coughs> excuse me so in order to find out the direction of friction we should keep in mind that as we walk or run as we walk or run in action is being made by us onto the ground with our feet so it means as we walk we press the ground with our feet so a reaction is generated by the ground okay consequently a reaction will be generated by the ground now this reaction helps us in the walking this reaction helps us to walk or to run whatever we are doing <clears throat> so basically it means suppose this is a person and it is pressing it is this is the surface So as we walk, we apply a force the dom in this direction. Okay. So we are going to apply the force. This is our action. And consequently of that, equal and opposite reaction will be generated. So this will be our reaction. And we assume that we are moving in this direction direction of motion okay. so we are applying a force that is action in this direction and accordingly there will be equal and opposite direction that will be generated by the ground this direction is nothing but our frictional force this direction is our frictional force okay. so from here we can say this reaction is the frictional force now let's consider the we already found out that in which the direction the frictional force will be occurring you can see from here the direction of the motion is towards the right consequently the frictional force will be also towards the right because we are making an action towards the left and the friction is going to help us to you know, move forward so that's why the frictional force will be acting towards the right side <coughs> 
let us consider now given question and let me draw the man as a box so this is a man and it is moving with expression a and this is a plank so the man is he moving towards the left so we are going to have a frictional force fr towards the left and equal and opposite frictional force fr will be also acting on the plank and we assume that the acceleration of the plank is a1 in this direction so as a is acceleration with respect to the plank of the man there will be a pseudo force which will be acting on the man okay. so this will be a pseudo force and its value will be equal to m a1 a1 is the acceleration of plank and m is the mass of the plank and this will be a pseudo force okay. so next let us consider let me write it here now considering the acceleration of the plank a1 towards the right then for the motion of man with respect to plank then the motion of the man with respect to plank plank the equation can be written as now we have m a1 plus fr will be equal to ma okay. so let us call this as equation 1 similarly you can consider plank motion and we can say that the plank is going to move because of the force fr which is a frictional force with the excess a1 and its mass is given as small m so from here we can write the equation as fr will be equal to ma1 let this be equation number two. Now using equation one and two, using equation one and two, we get MA1 plus MA1 is equal to MA. Or from here we can say that our twice a1 is equal to a or we can say our a1 is equal to a by 2 so this is the acceleration of the plank acceleration of the plank next we are supposed to find out what will be the frictional force okay so we can use equation number two 
using equation 2 fr is equal to m divided by 2 so this is our frictional force and last we are going to find out the acceleration for the man say the acceleration of man let us call this as a m or rather a man will be equal to relative acceleration of man with respect to plank plus acceleration of the plank you can say our acceleration of man is equal to it is given as a and the plank acceleration is a by 2 and algebraically it will be minus a by 2 so from here we can say acceleration of man will be equal to a by 2 so this is acceleration of man and with respect to ground with respect to ground and it will be towards left side towards left so this completes the first part or the first question Now in the second question, it is given that a plank of mass capital M is placed on a rough horizontal surface and a constant horizontal force F is applied on it. A man of mass small m runs on the plank. The coefficient of the friction between the plank and the surface is mu. Assuming that the man does not slip on the plank, find the acceleration of the man so that the plank does not move on the surface. So this is of the man and plank. A force F is being applied on the plank and there is a mu, the friction between it. <coughs> so once again, we assume that it is moving towards the right with the acceleration A. So let me draw the figure in the box shape, it must be more convenient. So we have this as man and this is our plank. And force F is being applied on the plank and man is moving toward you can say running with the acceleration a towards the right side you can see man is moving in this direction so it is moving in this direction the force of friction which it is going to between the man and plank will be also in this direction fr1 so there will be equal and opposite friction here also fr1 and between the plank and the surface let us suppose there is friction fr2 okay one thing sorry let me not put the we can say direction of friction we can only say there will be force of friction between the plank and the ground okay because the the friction between the plank and the ground will ultimately be depending upon the value of fr1 okay we will explain it later on so 
so once again let us discuss first of all the direction of the frictional force fr1 for man direction of friction for man so you can say man is man is moving towards right direction thereby the force of friction will be also towards right direction okay. so that's why we have fr1 in the same direction in which it is moving so from here one important conclusion we can draw that the value of fr1 will be dependent on the value of acceleration a higher the acceleration higher with the value of fr1 higher the acceleration a higher will be the value of fr1 therefore we can consider so our fr1 will be dependent upon the acceleration a okay now what is going to happen if you can say if fr1 becomes greater than means our fr1 is greater than f so under this condition so let me draw it here this is our plank and we have a force f and this is our fr1 now if fr1 is greater than f the plank will be start to moving in left side therefore plank will start to move towards left direction okay. so it will start to move in that in this direction so this we have a direction of motion so if this is direction of motion then the friction fr2 will be acting in opposite to the direction of motion okay so it will be acting towards the right side therefore fr2 which is friction between 
plank and surface will act towards left right side right direction so let us consider this as a case one okay so this is our case one and next let us consider if for one is less than f if f for one is less than f so we can say f for one is less than f and let us consider this case two so in this condition this is a plank applied force f for one now the direction of motion will be in this direction towards right direction of motion therefore the friction will be acting in this direction f2 okay so we can see therefore for two will act towards left as direction of motion is towards right So these are the two cases and we are going to find out the value of acceleration which we are supposed to find out we okay. find the acceleration of the man so the plank does not move the surface so we are going to find out the value of a that's why i didn't fix the value uh, the direction of fr2 here also at the start because fr2 is ultimately dependent upon the acceleration of a which is the acceleration of man So let us consider first of all a free body diagram for the man. PD for man. So this is a man moving in this direction with acceleration a, and we have our f r one, which is friction. and its weight is given as mg yeah mg and let us suppose there is normal n1 from here we can see fr1 will be equal to mu n1 which will be equal to mu mg and we can also say that fr1 is equal to ma and n1 is equal to mg now let us consider the case first case okay, which we already discussed on the start at the start rather so we have case 1 and the case 1 is fr1 is greater than f so we have a three body diagram this is applied force f and we have fr1 and this we have fr2 so we can write 
equation as f plus okay, this is blank so we can say f plus fr2 minus fr1 is equal to its mass is given as capital M A okay. expression is A this direction okay. and so we can find out here FR2 so FR2 will be equal to MA plus FR1 minus F One second. Sorry, I made a mistake here. I used F as well as MA. This was a mistake on my part. So we can write the equation as F plus FR2 is equal to FR1. So from here we can say that our FR2 will be equal to fr1 minus f and we already know fr1 fr1 is ma so we get ma minus f and we also know that the value of friction fr2 should be less than equal to mu n2 and here we can find out our n2 for this the normal n2 which is acting in upper direction n2 will be equal to m plus small m into g because in downward direction there will be a weight of the blank as well as man this will be like this so we have n2 now we are simply going to Substitute the values. Let me write it here again. We have fr2 less than equal to mu n2. n2 is equal to m plus m into g. So we know fr2 is ma minus f. So we can say putting here ma minus f is less than equal to mu and we have our m plus m g so we can write acceleration is equal to no sorry rather less than equal to f plus mu m plus m g to by by small m so this is for case one now case two And case 2 is when our FR1 is less than applied force F. So in this condition, this is our plank. The force F, FR1. And we are going to have frictional force FR2 in this direction now. And acceleration is A. So now the equation for the motion can be written as F is equal to FR1 plus FR2. So from here we can write our FR2 is equal to F minus FR1. FR1 is MA, so F minus MA once again fr2 is less than equal to mu n2 and n2 is same that is m plus m into g now we put the value of fr2 and n2 in this equation fr2 is f minus ma less than equal to mu 
कैपिटल एम स्मॉल एम मल्टीप्लाई बाय जी फ्रॉम हेयर वी कैन फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ ए इट इज ए इज ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू एफ माइनस म्यू एम प्लस एम इंटू जी डिवाइड बाय स्मॉल एम let us call this equation number 1 and this is equation number 2 so combining equation 1 and 2 we can write one equation okay. combining equation 1 and 2 we get A is greater than equal to f minus mu m plus m into g divided by m, and is less than equal to f plus mu m plus m g divided by small m. So this is the axis of man the acceleration of the man so that the plank does not move on the surface okay so this completes the two questions thank you